Hi everyone, and welcome back to Tween Scene. I'm Lauren, and today I'm going to lead you through a pony bead axolotl craft. Let's get into it! For today's craft, you're going to need your two containers of beads, which include the light pink and the dark pink, also the keychain ring, and two black pony beads, and then your string. To start, we're going to tie a knot onto the keychain. So you're going to grab your string, match up the two ends, push it up through the ring of the keychain, and slip those through the loop to make a knot, just like this. Once you've got that done, it's easiest if you tape the keychain right down to your work surface. So that's what I'm doing here. To start actually making the axolotl, grab two light pink beads and slide them both onto one half of the string. Not very far, just about like here and then grab the other string and push it through the opposite way, just like this. That'll lock the beads in, and then pull it tight so that the beads slide all the way up to the keychain. This is how we're gonna make our rows. Now grab three light pink beads and use the same process to make the next row. that it's easier if you dump out the pony beads so that you can grab them. For the next part of our axolotl, you're going to grab three dark pink beads, but only slide them onto one half of your string. This is going to make those little fringes that are on the axolotl's head. So you're going to slide three on, just like this, and then you're going to wrap it around and slide your string through the first two only. So it makes it just like this and then pull it tight. It's kind of difficult, you're gonna have to work the string back and forth to make sure that there's not a big space right there. So you can just slide the beads up and then tighten it just like that. Now repeat that same process on the other half of the string. The next row is going to include the eyes of the axolotl, so grab one black on one side, and then two light pink, and then another black, and use the same process we used before with the light pink to make a row. So slide them onto one of the strings, and then pull it tight through the other one. Grab three more dark pinks and make another fringe on each side of the axolotl. Thank you. 
three light pinks and make another row. And again, grab three dark pinks and make another fringe on each side of the axolotl. make the body of your axolotl, grab three light pinks and make a row, and then make another row with four light pinks. Once you've got those two rows done, it's time to make the legs of the axolotl. So grab three light pinks and three dark pinks and slide them onto only one of the strings, starting with the light pinks. Once you've got them all on, separate the two colors and bring the string back through only the light pinks. Pull it tight, and it should make kind of a triangle on the end for like the foot of the axolotl. Repeat that on the other side too. Continuing on the body of the axolotl, make three more rows of four light pink beads. Three more rows of four. Thank you. 
it's time to make the back legs of the axolotl, so use the same process we did before. Add another row of three light pink beads. To make the main part of the tail for the axolotl, you're going to make four rows that have dark pink beads on the outside and a light pink bead on the inside, just like this. So make four rows of that. begin to taper off the tail so the next row will be two dark pinks and then the last row is just one dark pink bead. Once you have it all pulled tight you can make a couple knots to keep it secure. Grab a scissors to trim off the excess string, and there you go, your pony bead axolotl is done. Thanks for joining me today to make these super cute pony bead axolotls. Make sure to tune in two weeks from now to make snowman stress balls. See you then!